All right, Channel Media and Market Research uh, did their New England Sports Survey, their annual survey. Results were released today. Here's the response to the statement, I have complete faith in Bill Belichick as head coach of the Patriots. 44% of fans said they completely agree. 44%. Well, 27 uh, were at the very next level, 6 and 7. You add it up, that equals 71%. We're either at a six or a seven at the very top of the scale. 71%, only 3% completely disagreed with that statement. Greg Bedard, let's roll. It's presented by Town Fair Tire. Greg Bedard joins us from the Boston Sports Journal. I got to tell you, Greg, these results really surprised me. Uh, and I'll get into it a little bit later because, you know, I've lost some faith. I thought fans had lost some faith, but apparently not. No, well, I mean, that I, I saw that in the survey, and, and I wanted the question, what about him as GM? Like, because as a head coach, right. Right. I mean, look, even last year, 10 and 7, the Cam Newton year, they were 7 and 9. I mean, with Cam Newton, what he became, I mean, you know, if they won four games, a regular coach would have won three or four games. Even going into this year, you look at this team, what's going on with the coaching staff, you would think with a regular NFL coach first year, 3 and 14. He's on the table, but with Belichick, it's not. So head coaching-wise, not an issue. That's right. I get it. I mean, I, 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 Greg's absolutely right. They didn't ask about GM. They didn't ask about the operation. Mm -hmm. They didn't ask about Bill Belichick. Well, but, but it's so, implied. Like, Bill Belichick as a – well, no, as a head coach. I don't know if well, I said as a head you, coach. If you have complete – what the question, whatever the question was, do you have faith in Bill Belichick as the leader of the Patriots? Let's put it that way. Well, that as includes a, a draft. As, as a leader of the coach. Patriots. It was head yeah, coach. It includes I thought a, I noted it. Yeah, but it, it did. It was. Greg's right. It was head coach. So head coach of the Patriots, yes. Uh, because of what, of what he said, we keep glossing over the fact that they started one and three last year and they recovered and made the playoffs with a rookie quarterback and the rookie quarterback was good. So these are a year after Tom Brady. Now, sure, he's responsible for Tom Brady not being here, but that, we're not getting into all that with the questions. Yeah. That guy, that guy with the clipboard, that guy with the headset, how do you feel when you see him out there? And most Patriots fans, rightfully so, feel pretty good about it. I think, I think they wrap it all together. And so do you. Yeah, no, I, and so do you. As a coach, less so. Uh, less so. I've lost some faith, some. But I, I don't think fans look at it that way. I think fans look at the entire package, and they still have faith in them, which, which blows me away. I, I, I think the fans do factor in draft GM, what he's done with the coaching staff. And I think the reality just hasn't caught up to the aura of Bill Belichick. And that, again, blows me away. It's like the Felger and Maz Truman Show bubble, you know, that like yeah. he finally realizes that he's, you know, in a fake – it's like – Everybody doesn't agree with us. Everyone doesn't agree with Felger and Maz and our callers. Like, we've been ripping Bill for a couple of years. We've been merciless with him. And it's like, no, it turns out most Patriots fans still think and have faith in Bill Belichick, and that does surprise me. Well, Mike, you see, that does not surprise me for this reason. If they don't have faith in Belichick, what do they have to hang their hats on? I mean, there's no more Tom Brady. Well, if, no you, look more, the, if, if you look at the four results, that Bel Belichick got 44%, number seven, complete faith. Yep. Mac Jones got 22%. So they believe in Bill Belichick twice as much as Mac Jones. Well, sure. No, I mean, yes. look, it's Why 22 not? years of this. I mean, these people, to me, it's these just the fans opposite. Really? Believe yes. He's. The second he is everything they believe in. He's the reason why the Patriots can strut around the league, why they can talk trash to other fan bases, all this stuff. He is what he is the brand. He is what they believe in because you take Bill Belichick out of the equation, they are just like any other team. Belichick makes them different, makes them special, at least for right now. Why would you have more faith in Mac Jones, who has not won a playoff game, than Bill Belichick, who has won several? Like, you, okay, you said everything is considered. Well, the, the resume is considered too. No, I, you, I, I'm I not judging you, on the resume. But you have to. I mean, why? That, but that, but that's what the fans are looking at. They're saying, okay, Mike, he's not a first-year coach. You got to judge. If you're not going to judge on the resume, what, does, what are you judging on? What does Troy Brown returning a punt in 2001 have to do with what he's going to do this year? Okay, what, I have. What, what, I, I what, have, what are you basing it on? Where do you start the clock? Way then? more faith right now in Mac Jones and Bill Belichick. I think Mac Jones is on the ascend, or he should be, and Bill Belichick's on the decline. I mean, that's what I think. That's what I think's coming. I'm projecting. I'm not. We can all read the resume. Yes, right. Bill's done more than Mac Jones. But that, what does that take? You, you know, where is it trending? Where is it going? And I think Bill's, you know, started this. And I think Mac Jones should be getting better. Now they've ruined them but this we year. Haven't, and, and, I but, guess, and I guess for, from the fan standpoint, this is why I agree with them, we haven't seen that. I have. So you, no, no, you haven't. I have. No, you, but, you, but not in the results. See, I, I think it will change what you're looking for. 
It needs to collapse on the field. It needs to be four five and, and twelve. It needs to be four and thirteen, yep. five and twelve, something like that. That's what you need to see. So we talk about the coaching staff. You don't like it. It's curious. Uh, the draft picks have been bad, but still, like in, they in the last, errors. In the last hold back, hold back, what I mean, I'm telling you, but in the last ten years, why didn't leave a mark that they lost five of their last six games and couldn't force their chief division rival to punt once in the last two games? Yeah, because why, why is that not left a mark? Because they're ten and seven, went to the playoffs with a rookie quarterback. To them, did you forget the separate, games that Yes, they have by now. They have separated that. Now they're now they're hope. This is the hopeful part of the year for these fans. They are hoping that progress is made. That Bill Belichick still has his magic. Progress was made. Okay, you went from seven and nine the previous year to ten and seven. So yeah, all the th th so you can slice that season up any any way you want. I started off at one and three and go to ten and seven. You ignored one and three and went you know five out of six down the stretch. You can parse well, it any way you can parse it any way you want. But, but those stretch games they, are the most. The, that's, yes, those are the games a, that matter. Yes, it's important. They weren't good. They no, no, it's not. They're it, not a championship team last those year. Those are the games that matter, and they were right. horrible. They were not a champ. They're not a championship team. No, no, but down the stretch they were bad. They yeah, were they bad. Were bad. When, they were bad when. It Buffalo's mattered. better. And, and it, Buffalo's better this year, too. So you that both, is things, Indy? both things can be I, well, I don't know. We'll see. But both things can be true. You can have progress with the Patriots from uh, so look, you know, from a 10 win season to uh, uh, you know 10 again and still not be as good as Buffalo. And the fans can look at it and say, Oh, I get it. Look, I, I get it. Most fans agree with you. The survey also posed a question of which coach you admire the most. Not only is Belichick still number one, but his percentage has gone up in each of the last three years. Like, this is goofy. Uh, this despite not winning a playoff game in any of those seasons. So, I think this is silly town. It's like idol worship or whatever. I'm out of touch. I'm the one that's yes. out of touch. Okay? But... Just because more people believe one thing, you know, the, yeah. the, the consensus is often wrong, okay? As Gary Tangway, my, my great predecessor here, once said, genius walks alone. So just because I'm in the wilderness doesn't mean oh, okay. I'm wrong. But make no mistake, <laughs> so, most people disagree with me. He said genius walks alone. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Belichick. You're no, no, about your, uh, no, I'm talking about this guy. You're talking about yourself. It really, it, Felger, I think it has to collapse. It has to collapse. You know, all this coaching stuff and the draft, it has to be 4 and 13. And, and, and a meltdown they for people be to say the face with it. For I mean, people to say, okay, a whole season. Lost. Do you have full faith in Belichick like you used to? No, the whole package. How can you? No. Of course I don't. Like, I mean, I have eyes, but I, I study things over the course of a whole year. They have distance. They see ten and seven. A rookie quarterback went to the Pro Bowl. We're back, baby. And, and they're it, ignoring everything else that's going on. And in the games that mattered, they couldn't tie their own shoes. They sucked. Like, yeah. do, you don't remember that? that? Like, you ago. just forgot about it? Yeah. Wiped it from your memory? Yeah, yep. of course you remember this that. This is what fans do, part, Mike. No, but wait a minute. But that, no, that's, that, that's unfair. That's unfair. Let me, just, let me just stand up for the fans here. Fans see it all. They, they see the whole picture. No, so they, they don't. Get, no, yes, they do. No, yes, they, they do. They also they like saw, illusions and fantasy. They saw right. the – Foot and they, pajama fans. Uh, neither, 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 neither. That didn't happen. I didn't they see it. I didn't see it. Seven and nine did happen with Cam Newton. It was going the wrong way. So if you had seven and nine with Cam Newton, followed by seven and ten with Mac Jones, then those numbers would be different. But you didn't. You went from a non-playoff team to a playoff team with a rookie quarterback. So you have a future. Like I not said, a, right, not a present. You have a future. Most everyone agrees with you.